solve this equation, which is z to the power of phi is 1 plus root 3i. So I've drawn the uh, real arm and the imaginary arm, and 1 is the real part, and root 3i is the imaginary part. Okay, so this is your complex number. This is your origin O. So this point is your original, sorry, complex number, which is 1 plus root 3i. So the real part of the horizontal component has the length of 1, and this has the length of root 3. Okay. Now, to solve this, we'll first need to write this in polar form. So for that, we need to find first r, or modulus of r, the distance of this complex number from the origin. So we're going to use Pythagoras. So this is square root of uh, root 3 squared, which is 3, plus 1 squared, which is 1, which is square root of 4, and square root of 4 is 2, just like that. And theta is 10 inverse of, using 10 is opposite over adjacent, so, so this is 10 inverse of root 3 divided by 1, which is root 3. And 10 inverse of root 3, I hope you know, is 60 degrees. Or you can check it on a calculator. That is 60 degrees. So this 1 plus root 3i, so this implies, we can say 1 plus root 3i, which is in a plus bi form, if you want to write this in polar form, is nothing but 2 cis 60. In short, it means this point in terms of polar form is at a radial distance of 2 and an angle of 60. So, therefore, I can say z to the power of phi is nothing but 2 cis 60. Okay, and I want to find z. Okay, so we can say, therefore, z. To find z from z to the power of phi, I have to raise this by which power? So, well, z to the power, z to the power of phi, if you raise it by one-fifth, you get z. Okay? So, if you raise this by one-fifth, you have to also raise the right-hand side by one-fifth. So, this is 2 cis 60 raised to one-fifth. Now, we're going to use the de Moivre's theorem, which says, if any complex number in polar form is r cis theta to the power n, then it is r to the power n cis n theta. Okay, so this so this implies I can say your first root or z1, I'd raise 2 by 1 fifth, so 2 raised to 1 fifth, and multiply this by 1 fifth. If you're multiplying by 1 fifth, it's the same as dividing by 5. So this is, so let me write this as cis. 1 fifth times 60. 1 fifth times 60. So this implies z1 is fifth root of 2 cis. Uh, so when you divide 60 uh, by 12, sorry, by 60, when you divide 60 by uh, 5, is same as, so this is same as 120 divided by 10, which is 12. So your first root, z1, is fifth root of 2 cis 12. So now there are five roots, so we can say there are five roots, and all would be at a particular angle. And five roots implies all the roots are at an angle of 360 divided by 5. Which is three, which is 720 divided by 10. 720 divided by 10, which is 72. The complex roots always have a geometry. If there are five roots, the five roots would be at an angle of 70 to 72 degrees to each other. Okay, so if so, this is your first root. If you know one root, you can write all the roots. Okay, so this is your first root, which implies z2 would be at the same radial distance, which is phi root 2 cis. So let me write that. That is 12 plus 72, which is z2 
is equal to fifth root of 2. So this, what is 12 plus 72, which is 84 degrees. So this is your second root. We'll confirm the answer. And that's a neat thing that you can do with a graphic calculator. So Z3 is simply adding 82, sorry, 72 to this. So it is phi, fifth root of 2, sys. So if you add 72, which is 86. Uh, so let me get my calculator so I don't do silly mistakes. So this is menu run. 80 for first I got 12 plus 72, which is 84, plus 72 is 156. So the third root is 156. Z4 would be again fifth root of 2. Says, so I have to add how much? I have to add 156 plus 72, which is 228 degrees. So which is 228. And finally, Z5 would be fifth root of 2 says if you add 72 that is 300 degrees so let us check our answer so what are we what have we said okay so let me write this with a different color so z1 is fifth root of 2 says 12 okay which implies Z1 to the power of 5 should give me, if you, if this is the fifth root, if this is the fifth root is the answer, if you raise that by 5, I should get back the original question, which is 1 plus root 3i. So that's what, I have, that's what I'm going to do, 1 plus root 3i. So I'm going to use my calculator to check my answer. So, so my calculator is set on degrees, so that's fine. So first I'm going to change this into rectangular form. So option, then F6, angle, F6, rectangular form. So this is in polar form. So from polar form, I want to change this into rectangular form. So this is your radius is fifth root of 2. So fifth, phi, shift, root of 2, comma, 12. This will calculator will change this into rectangular form from polar form. Okay, so this is your uh, this is your answer. Okay, so okay now we are going to do this in a different way. So this, if you want to change this, okay. So let me explain that. So if you want to change this into rectangular form, z1 is nothing but fifth root of two times this stands for cos 12 plus i sine 12 so we're going to use the calculator to figure this out so let us again go to calculator menu run okay so delete it exit so this is fifth shift root of two bracket cos 12 plus i, so where is i, option, complex number, i sine 12. So we are making the calculator to do the, our donkey's work. So this is fifth root of 2 times cos 12 plus i sine 12. So this is the answer. Okay, this whole thing is in a plus b a form. And if I raise this by phi, so raise it by phi, will give you 1 plus, and 1 plus 7, 1.73 is nothing but root 3. So let us do one more. Uh, suppose Z2, what was our Z2? Z2 was 84 degrees, isn't it? So let me write. Let us write this in a different color. So Z2 is again fifth root of, fifth root of 2 times cos 84 plus i sine 84 so let us cal let the calculator do the work so i'll go fifth so i'll type in phi shift fifth root of 2 bracket cos 84 
plus i sine 84. So this is the complex number and I'll raise that by phi. That is the same number, this is a real and this is 1 and this is square root of 3. 